Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you uh, how to call a data page or how to refer a data page and how to get a value from a data page uh, in correspondence rules or in paragraphs in paragraph rules or in the correspondence rules or if you want uh, you can uh, custom HTML rules I mean to say uh, non auto generated sections non auto generated sections are nothing well because we need to write the HTML code so sometimes uh, sometimes in the paragraph rules or in the corresponding templates uh, we need to get a value from the data page assuming assuming the requirement may be any type of requirement at any time we don't know right at least then we need to understand whatever the possibilities if it is full or not if it is possible how can we implement all these things just all these are nothing but exploration right okay so now in this video i am going to show you uh, i want to call one data page in the correspondence template okay uh, i am just adding here uh, one shape uh, automation shape send email send email shape just click on now i want to send to suresh.tomati at the rate of the gmail.com okay subject uh, test subject and the message is uh, correspondence I am going to create my own correspondence rule um, claim claim CORR just open this claim CORR I am going to create now okay correspondence type is uh, email just click on create and open now here see this one here normally uh, hello uh, so and so and customer uh, hello customer your uh, your uh, your claim request has been processed processed successfully okay something here so and so due to some reasons i want to display the country country name for example i want to display the country name i know the country id i know the country id i want to get the country name because already we have a one data page right one data page d underscore country already i have a one data page d underscore country so what is the input for this data page d underscore country it will give the country details obviously country id obviously country id so if you want i'll show you this country i have already created a one data type in my system which is already available uh, now total i have a four records four records if i pass a country id i need to get the country name value and This is a country ID. For example, if I pass uh, country ID 3, I will get a country name value is France. Data model. So country ID, see this one country ID. This is an integer and options key. Key is nothing but a primary key. Primary key of a class. Primary key of a class. Even if you want, you can I'll just show you. Open a class Open a class record. Each and every class must have a key. Here, this is the country ID is the key. Now, uh, D underscore country, right? Already we have a one data page, right? D underscore country. When you run this country, you must pass. If you want to see the parameters, country ID. So similarly, here I want to run this data page from my correspondence template. Okay. Now what I can do, I have a one code. I have a one code. Let me first quickly save this one. How to refer the data page here there is an option in 
insert a property insert rule apart from this there is an option see this one source only source just click on this now hello customer your claim request has been processed etc now here you can you can include some jsp code already i have explained in the already i have explained in my custom controls so see here tools this is the jsp starting scriptlets tag tools dot get parameter page this is the parameter page params dot put string country id i am just putting the country id 3 now tools dot find a find a page d underscore country so i am loading this data page d underscore country using the tools dot find a page and i am passing this params Params means it contains a country ID. Finally, I got a country page details. Now, ultimately, uh, in the country page, you have to get the country name value, right? So, country page dot get a property of country name. This is a property dot country name dot get string value. So, I am saving that value into a one variable. Uh, usually, in the Java terminology, it is a variable string country name. Now finally, hello, the customer country name is, I am displaying. This is just logic. If you want to display, you must use this scriptlet uh, uh, percentage, percentile equal to country name. Okay, just click on checkout, save. Similarly, you can refer the, you can refer the same syntax in the, any HTML section rule, any paragraph rules, as well as correspondence rules, etc see when you open any section for example if you open go to user interface section uh, for example capture a claim details here by default if you open the html tag this is auto generated html that means uh, pega will generate html pega will generate html if you want you can write your own HTML here. If you want, you can write your own HTML. This is nothing but a non-auto generated sections, which is nothing but a non-auto generated HTML. So we call it as, okay. Even here also, sometimes if you want to write some logic inside the sections also, which is not auto generated, you can unselect this auto generated checkbox. Then you can write your own logic. You can write your own logic. Now come back to our claim correspondence. Just click on save. Okay, now check in. Blah, blah, blah. Now I have already included my correspondence template. Just click on save. save and run now we, if we want to see the whether my email template is having the data or not i don't want to enter any details here just click on submit then my next step will be called here send email in the send email i have mentioned this correspondence template will be executed and this jsp code will be executed then finally etc the our email my email will be generated with so and so on. and even if you want okay mm, let it be when you click on submit so where is my email generated correspondence email because it is not generated okay let me trace it let me trace it next time insurance claim save and run now let me trace it before click on submit because the next step will be call it as automatically by this send email right okay now i am enabling the tracer click on submit we will see if anything if any error is happening in the background okay just click on play let's see let's see okay now i just want to pass it because already screen is lo loaded what is this exception 
fail okay what is this unable to open an instance using the given inputs px obj class or data email account py account name sbi loan work okay because i don't have any email accounts i don't have any email accounts uh, in my in my system in my application in my work pool sbi loan sbi loan hyphen work class i don't have any email accounts got created for this account name sbi loan home sbi app appl work class so okay no problem email is not generating but no worries go back to claim if you want just click on actions preview you can see the preview how you were okay see this one hello customer you claim request had been successfully processed hello customer country name is france country name is france that means data page is triggered passing the parameter now okay for testing purpose what i can do is i can change the country id value is 4 save actions preview now the country id value is italy in this way in this way you can refer the data page in the any correspondence template or in any html section pool which is non auto generated and you can refer the a uh, data page in the paragraph rules also paragraph rules also there is option source only now if you want you can reach to sample rich text editor hello customer name is but here you cannot see that uh, original source code original source code of referring the data page if you want to see that go to the source only go to the source only here you can see this one i hope at least you understand how to refer a data page how to refer a data page in the paragraph or a correspondence templates thank you